Why do chemists never encounter problems? Because they have all the solutions. Today I want to take a look at the use of a solutions and stoichiometry in balanced chemical equations. You might be familiar with the concept of a titration experiment. And in a titration experiment, we take a solution of unknown properties and perhaps put it down here with our unknown. And up here we take a solution of known properties. Then we carefully add this to the solution down below until the reaction is just complete. So in this particular experiment, we're going to start here with 100 cubic centimeters of solution that was prepared by dissolving 1.34 grams of our unknown substance HX. And that's now dissolved. We take a portion of this solution, not all of it, 25 mils of it, and place it down here in a flask. So this becomes our unknown. Now we carefully add our known, which is in this case is the sodium hydroxide solution. And we put in 23.3 cubic centimeters of this solution, which is just enough to completely react with the unknown acid down below. And we know the concentration of this solution is 0 0.100 moles per decimeter cubed. Let's take a look at the equation for the reaction that goes on. Now, I'm going to place some of our given information here that we know. The NaOH, we know the volume of it we put in was the 23.3 cubic centimeters, which we're going to convert right away into decimeters dividing by a thousand, 0 0.0233 decimeters cubed. The concentration of this solution we have is 0 0.100 moles per decimeter cubed. From that information, we can determine the number of moles from concentration times volume, just multiplying these two quantities together. And that gets me 0 0.00233 moles. Now from the reaction, we can see the ratio that exists between our unknown acid and our sodium hydroxide is one to one. So therefore I know present down here in the bottom was exactly the same number of moles, 0 0.00 two, three, three moles. Now we're going to take that information and see if we can convert that into a mass. Now we unfortunately can't quite convert that into a mass because we don't know the molar mass. However, we do know the mass of acid that reacted. Now be careful, it's not this number because that was present in this entire beaker. And if we assume that it was uniformly spread out, the mass that actually ended up here would be this divided by 4. So the actual mass that made it down here for the titration experiment is 0.335 grams. The relationship we have this from an older unit between moles, molar mass, and the mass of our substance, we can calculate the molar mass by taking our mass and dividing it by our number of moles. So 0.335 grams divided by my number of moles and that then gives me the molar mass of my acid to three significant digits as 144 grams per mole. So we've seen the use of this technique of working around the box with several things now. We can do it with gases, we can do it with solids, and now we can do it with solutions. So that brings us to an end of the stoichiometry unit. In our next unit, we'll take a look at atomic theory. Thanks for watching.